Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 72 on SO exam P, so pause the video real quick and try to spam yourself. Okay, as you're attempted, let's just dive right in. So they tell us to find the probability of the CDF function for f of v. We know that f of v is equal to the probability that big V is less than little b. So plugging in our V here, so this is equal to probability that 10,000 e to the r is less than little v, where the v function, where the r function is uniform on this, um, r is uniform on 0.04 to 0.08. So that means r has a function of 1 over b minus a, right? Because it's a uniform distribution, so it must be 1 over 0.08 minus 0 0.04 which is equal to 25 so that's our probability function so we have to we want to try to put this in terms of r so that we can plug it into our function here to find the cdf so then solving for r you get probability that e is r is less than v over 10,000 taking the natural log of both sides you get probability of r is less than natural log of v over 10,000. So putting that into our formula for this distribution of r, r is actually the lower bound is bounded by 0.04. The upper bound here is bounded by this, right? Um, natural log of v over 10,000. And our function here is going to be just 25 dr. So then the because there's, it's just a constant, this just becomes 25R, where R is going from 0 0.04 to the upper limit, natural log of V over 10,000. So then when I plug in the upper limit, you get this is equal to natural log of V over 10,000. When you plug in lower limit, you just get 0 0.04. And then this actually is our answer, E. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!